On this episode of Living Well, you and Tavason. We cover the Tournament of Champions, hosted at Vernal's Western Park. Jason Webb has a delicious meal perfect for this time of year. Living Well, you into Basin, presented by Ashley Regional Medical Center. Also made possible by Warriors Warehouse and you into Recreation District. Living Well, Beyond the Couch. tournament running here for uh, 42 years. It's the 42nd running of the Tournament Champion. Uh, it started many years before. I, this is my 22nd year here. This is the 21st year at the Western Park. I took it when we got to my first year here. I said, let's make this a real Tournament Champion. Let's make it even bigger. So I, I talked to Dirk Hatch and some other people and some parents helped me put this together and we, we brought it over here and we, I think we're like 23 teams the first year, and now we're up to 30. In some years, our biggest number has been 36 teams. So, and we get Colorado, Wyoming, Utah. We've had uh, New Mexico and Las uh, uh, Nevada here as well, and Idaho. So we've had and oh, Montana too. So we've had a lot of teams travel to get here to wrestle in this tournament. Once I get a team here, very seldom do I lose them because. The way we run this tournament, we treat everyone with a lot of respect and it's a big deal to have them here. We want them to know that we're not here just to try to make money. We're here to put on the best show we possibly can and the best production of a tournament that we can. So we hire a guy, Doug Sakura from Ohio, who flies here and he runs this tournament with his software and makes it really easy for me. Uh, it makes me look a lot smarter than I am. tournament well we, we don't do as much as we used to we used to send out letters to everyone now I kind of I just I send out a mass mailing once in a while uh, word of mouth is a lot of things when I go to tournaments I'll give out information to people about it but once like a lot of Denver schools used to come and still do come and the Colorado Springs schools they come a long way to the tournament because they really love the way it's ran and so Word of mouth, the best word of mouth is other coaches talking highly about this tournament. And uh, it's a tournament for wrestlers and coaches because the second day, nobody gets to sit out. We have a second chance tournament. Everyone that lost up to that point is back in the tournament and wrestling again. So uh, now we're getting experience. Every kid's getting a lot more experience and getting maybe going two and out. So now they get at least two to more, two or more matches. And that, that makes a pretty good weekend. If you're getting five to seven matches a weekend, uh, that's a lot of experience, and the coaches are always looking for that experience. So I mean, so it sells itself, and I, like I said, it runs well. It's a great tournament, uh, a great facility to run it. I mean, I, I, yeah, I, there's nothing bad about this, but I say this is the best. I've been to tournaments. I've been coaching for 33 years. This is the best run tournament that I ever been to, and I know I'm a little prejudiced here, but uh, it is the best run tournament. We run it for coaches and athletes. So. together they're starting to believe in what we tell them uh, sometimes it's the breaking the habits of past uh, coaches or uh, you know, people teaching them things and we, we focus on what we need them to do to win championship style matches I don't care about flair I don't care about style I care about 
precise, hard-nosed wrestling. And we're getting to that point where we're wrestling to that kind of style of wrestling. We're very aggressive, we're controlling position, and we're battling for six minutes, and our shape's uh, pretty good, and not as good as it needs to be yet, but these are all things. We got, I still got about a month to fine-tune things, but great performance last night against Delta Colorado. Uh, with a bunch of great wars and matches, and, and today a unbelievable uh, second round of championship. Now it gets us to the quarterfinals, puts us in the lead where you know we got if we go on wrestle like we capable of wrestling, we'll we'll win this tournament. And that's what we came with. That's what we our goal was to win this tournament and use this as a step stepping stone towards the next competition until we get to state. Our big our only we only have one goal a year and that's go to compete at state to our highest level. And these are steps that we take to get to that point. I competed at this tournament last year at JV. I took first at the Leighton tournament and I'm hoping to take state this year. Um, I like competing in big tournaments like this because it sets us up for state. And these are a bunch of good teams. So if we can beat them all, we can take state. Competing is uh, good for everybody. Everybody needs to learn how to work hard, but sportsmanship is really key. Cody Merkley, uh, wrestle 138 pounds, took fifth place here last year, and we're looking for uh, first place this year. I'm Brock Bowden, wrestle 120, looking for high placings this year. Uh, I like the sport. It takes a lot of hard work and dedication, and you got to have a lot of guts to do it. Go I'm uh, Kenneth Ross. I wrestle 285. I like the tournament too, you don't have to drive too far, and it's a pretty hard tournament. It's not a real easy one. Go Union! Almost everyone suffers a broken bone or fracture at one time during their life. Taking care of your fracture will ensure that it heals quickly and without any long-term effects. Follow your physician's instructions carefully. Take time off your usual activities and give the bone time to heal. Don't delay treatment. Some fractures are subtle and can only be seen on an x-ray or CT scan. For more information on fracture care, visit our website at www.ashleyregional.com. Warriors Warehouse has the preventative and natural products you need to improve your overall health. Nutritional supplements for maximum performance? We've got that too. And if you're looking for the best variety of gluten-free food, the search is over. We also cater to the needs of our customers by providing individualized diet and supplement plans, skincare, and friendly professional service. We have the education and experience to answer your questions and give you first-class assistance, backed by our pharmacy-certified Dr. Lewis. Let us show you why we're your number one source for health products. Welcome back to Dish by Dish. I'm your host, Jason Webb. Uh, today we're going to do a shrimp risotto, which goes excellent with the uh, beef wellington that we did on the last episode. Uh, so we're just gonna jump right in with this one. Uh, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take three tablespoons of butter and get that melting in the pan. Get that started up. You want it completely melted before you continue on with any of the other ingredients. All right, now once your butter is melted all the way, then you're going to take one whole shallot and you're going to chop it fine and add that in and you're going to cook these until they're translucent. Take a couple minutes. It's not going to take too long if you've got your heat up. You just want to get a nice clear look on those. All right, so now once your shallots are translucent, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take one cup of risotto rice, also called arborito rice, and you're gonna throw that in there. 
And you're gonna stir fry it for just a minute until it goes brown. And while we're working on that, we're actually gonna put uh, eight ounces of clam juice into another pot with a little bit of water, usually about four cups of water. And we're gonna get that warming. You don't want it to boil. You just want it to, uh, to steam. And that's gonna come into the recipe a little bit later. All right, our rice is just about brown. We're gonna take one cup of white wine. You can use a, a dry white wine. I like to use cooking wine myself. Uh, it has a little bit more salt content in it than uh, regular wine does, uh, but uh, overall I think it has pretty much the same flavor. So that's one cup of white wine. And you're gonna want that over a high heat uh, just until the, the wine boils. And then once the wine boils, then we'll start adding the clam juice. All right, the next step, uh, once you get most of your wine boiled out, is you're gonna take, you don't want it to sizzle on the bottom of the pan, that's bad. That'll end up giving you a charred taste in your risotto. So what, you gotta keep stirring constantly with this. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna basically just take a ladle of your warmed clam juice with the water and pour it in. And you're gonna wait until that boils off and then you're gonna do it repeatedly until the, uh, the starch in the arborito rice is actually going to leak out into your liquid. It's gonna make a really creamy sauce. When that sauce is creamy, then your risotto is finished. All right, now we go to the, the long, arduous process. All right, so we got the rice uh, pretty much where we want it. Uh, as you can tell, I've used up all the liquid. Sometimes you use it all, sometimes you don't. It just depends on the rice you're using. What you're looking for is at the end to have a nice starch, starchy uh, kind of uh, sauce with it. And if you can run your finger through the spoon and the line stays there, you know your sauce is thick enough. So this is just about ready. So now that this is just about ready, we're gonna throw the shrimp on the flat top and give it just a nice quick uh, sear. Get those shrimp going. And you can, uh, you can doll up your shrimp a little bit if you want and add a little bit of garlic. Uh, but <clears throat> with the risotto, the way that it tastes, I kind of like to leave the shrimp just uh, as plain as I can get it. You want to use like two or three shrimp per serving. Uh, so I've got five here. Uh, what I've got as far as uh, the risotto, I have enough that I could do two as a main course or four as a side dish. So I did five shrimp just to be safe. Time to plate up our dish. wants to come out of my spoon. Let's do this a different way. Non-stick spoons, you know. <laughs> okay, so you do a good serving of risotto. Shrimp freshly off your flat top. And you're gonna do a little bit of lemon zest for color and a little bit of flavor. And a little bit of parsley. And that is shrimp risotto. Fantastic. So we will see you next time on Dish by Dish. Living Well Health and Wellness Tip brought to you by Warriors Warehouse.
B vitamins are a major factor in the production of ATP, our energy molecule in the body. They also help to catalyze over hundreds of reactions and are essential in maintaining a healthy nervous system. So someone who is active, it's particularly important to supplement with a B vitamin or find a vitamin that is high in B vitamins because it will help with your muscle contractions as well as energy. You can find B vitamins here at Warriors Warehouse, 1060 West Market Drive, Suite 1, right behind McDonald's and Smith. Almost everyone suffers a broken bone or fracture at one time during their life. Taking care of your fracture will ensure that it heals quickly and without any long-term effects. Follow your physician's instructions carefully. Take time off your usual activities and give the bone time to heal. Don't delay treatment. Some fractures are subtle and can only be seen on an x-ray or CT scan. For more information on fracture care, visit our website at www.ashleyregional.com. Warriors Warehouse has the preventative and natural products you need to improve your overall health. Nutritional supplements for maximum performance? We've got that too. And if you're looking for the best variety of gluten-free food, the search is over. We also cater to the needs of our customers by providing individualized diet and supplement plans, skin care, and friendly professional service. We have the education and experience to answer your questions and give you first class assistance backed by our pharmacy certified Dr. Lewis. Let us show you why we're your number one source for health products. Be sure to like us on Facebook for updates on VTV Channel 6 programming. Don't forget, you can watch current and previous episodes of Living Well on demand at vtvchannel6.com. And while you're there, be sure to send us an idea for an upcoming episode. If you enjoy Living Well You Into Basin, please take the opportunity to reach out and thank the local, community-minded businesses that make it possible. Ashley Regional Medical Center, Warriors Warehouse, and You Into Recreation District. Until next time, live well and stay healthy, You Into Basin.